सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल रिंको आर्ट फ्रॉम टुडे ऑनवर्ड्स आई एम गोइंग टू मेक वीडियोस ऑन एनिमेशन सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग और बिफोर जंपिंग टू द एनिमेशन वी शुड नो सम सॉफ्टवेयर ऑन व्हिच वी कैन डू आवर एनिमेशन प्रोसेस सो हियर आई एम टेकिंग एनिमेट सीसी व्हिच आई हैव एंड आई यूज्ड टू डू एनिमेशन ऑन दिस सॉफ्टवेयर दिस सॉफ्टवेयर इज पेड वन इफ यू वांट यू कैन यूज दिस सॉफ्टवेयर और यू कैन यूज फ्री सॉफ्टवेयर सच एज क्रीटा और टूडी पेंसिल so before jumping to that i want to explain you more about this software and the tools which i am going to use in the beginning and i am not going to explain you more about drawing and all just the basic animation i am going to explain you and for that which tools are required i'll explain you that in this video okay so let's start first we'll have this document 1920 into 1080 which is a full hd form and we'll create that platform you can take action script 3 press create okay i think i have one video uh, in my channel you can go and watch that uh, where i have explained you some tools related to animation but here we are not going to uh, do drawings and character animation just we'll use some basic shapes and know the principles just we are going to do some small animation and uh, see how it is working okay so here i have opened the software that is animate cc so this is the first tool here this is the selection tool if you have taken any shape let me change the color of this to red and here if you will see this is the bucket tool or you can press uh, k in your keyboard and fill it here okay so the outer line is black the stroke line and the fill color is red okay you can change the uh, color or you can change the stroke color over here uh, right hand side property if you can see over here it is red color and stroke color is not selected but if i'll see here this is in black color so first i'll click here or the shortcut key is v and i can see that this one is now selected and here the color in property tab you can see it is black okay and if i'll press this hitting this you can see this is red okay so this tool will help you to select the object on workspace this is the workspace and this is the timeline so this is very important timeline because we are into animation and we are going to learn animation so this is very important to do animation okay so that i'll explain you so for the time being i am just explaining these tools okay so this is the selection tool with which we can select our object on workspace okay and second we can go for lasso tool that also for selection object like this you can select some part of your object like this here also you can select but here you have to select shapes which you can't make with this selection you can go with this lasso and here some other options are also there if you'll see closely here small drop down menu is there if you'll press it for long uh, you can see other options that is lasso tools polygon tools and magic wand okay so these tools are also for selections and that i'm not going uh, deep so i'll come out and see here this is pen tool this is text this is line tool this is a rectangular object you can say if i'll hit here and i'll take this this is an object with the outline selected uh, outline is there already if you don't want the outline you can uh, click here in this option and make it this okay and now if you'll drag and see the outline is not there selection tool i am taking and i am hitting here only the uh, fill color is getting selected and because it has no stroke or the outline okay here if you see the outline is there okay and one more thing if you want to select the outline you can click and select and if you want to select totally all the four sides or the line connected with this you can double click and the outer line the stroke line is getting selected and now you can delete or whatever you want to do you can do okay and with this selection you can change the shape as well like this see this is the selection v and i'm changing the shape okay see so it's very essential tool with which you can change the object shape so uh, why i'm explaining all this because with this we can do our animation because we should not go directly to the character uh, because it will make some confusion in your mind to 
like how we will do the animation we have to uh, concentrate more on animation rather on parts okay so slowly slowly we will go to the character first we will apply all the principles principles means these are the principles uh, you can find in internet or else I'll explain you as I will do the animation uh, simultaneously I'll explain all the principles of animations okay so as you can see here I have explained you about this tool which is selection tool uh, with that we can uh, manipulate our object we can select our object so this is the important tool and the shortcut is V okay so with this we can do what else okay this is the oval tool it is also the same as a rectangular tool so the tools which i am telling you that only you need to see and do the animation okay this is the polyster tool this these all are same of one kind like you can create your object with these shapes okay and this is the brush tool which we are going to use in future videos i'll show you how to draw character and all and how to do the animation with that character okay okay this is hand tool the shortcut is spacebar or if you press the spacebar the hand tool will come to move the screen like this okay if suppose you are doing here and if you want to see that uh, left hand side area then you can press space and drag it from there to here and if you will release or leave the space button then it will change automatically to the tool in which you you were working okay but if you press h means it is constantly in that shape and you can use it like this okay without pressing any key okay now again if you want to change this tool to some other tool then you need to go here and select it okay but there if you are pressing the space bar and leaving it then automatically it will go to the previous tool which you are working on okay so this is also good and this is uh, the zoom one or z shortcut you can press it and here if you'll click it it will go closer as you can see over here the lines are in dotted form so let me tell you one thing how to change this if you'll click here it is getting selected and you will come to the property area this right hand side you can see the style is in dotted form so if i'll click here and go to this solid one uh, as this is selected if i'll click it will change okay you can increase the stroke from here okay and you can change the style from here anything if you want you can do see more styles are there if you want to change from the library you can go here and more options are there like if i'll select this one see it's different so likewise you can see and do accordingly one more thing here if you'll see right hand side this area where it is written 105 percent this is the place where you can bring your workspace into focus okay if suppose this is not visible and now you want to press space and you will drag it but still it is not coming into normal position normal uh, view then you can go here and press uh, this drop down menu and fit in window see or else you can do control minus plus to increase the view or control minus to decrease the workspace so if you want to check your tool you can select the tool and go to right hand side properties and there you can manipulate anything and see whether it is working or not everything is there in the properties uh, even the size everything if you are clicking on the stage here white area then you can see the stage information over here like the size of the stage is 1920 1080 which we have fixed in the beginning of the video and here it is white if you want you can change it to something else whatever you want to do you can change through this window that is properties and that's it so i'm going to explain you about the animation basic things and for that i need one object that is this one so let me explain you a little about this tool i need to reduce the size of this so while clicking only one side of the stroke is getting selected so i'll double click so all the sides are getting selected and and i'll reduce it to maybe five and enter so this is okay for me so see now i'm going to explain this because in my animation video where i'll explain you about this animation i'll show it to you just a second so i have already prepared the animation for you so i'll explain you and i'll tell you how to move this object from 
this point to this point there are three ways which i'll explain you from here to here it will go directly without any movement only sliding second it can roll 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 and getting into this position second one third one it can jump and coming into this position position number two so there are three method uh, which i'm going to explain you and how to apply the animation with the principles which it is written here so these principles i'll apply where it is applicable and with that i'll make the animation and explain you detail okay so you need to know first about the object then only you can do the animation so let me tell you about this object first if you are new to uh, this animate cc so first thing first first you need to select here this uh, this is the rectangle tool and after selecting you should observe this object first this one has a red color fill and this one is the black color stroke okay and if you want to increase the stroke you can uh, increase it from here and the style you want you can change it from here if you want to change the rectangle to some other shape you can do that also like this okay this curve line is coming if i am bringing this arrow towards the uh, this line then you can see that curve is coming see so you can bring it like this or like this okay and if i want to change the corner of this triangle it is, it is showing the angle so you can change from here to here see so all these things i have applied in my animation that's why i am explaining this in this video because if i'll explain this in that video it will take more time to complete okay fine this is the first video and the second video i'll bring it tomorrow so stay tuned for that and please practice on this because everything is there in this object because if you have any doubt in this triangle or some tools then you can't do the animation you will stuck in that tools only so i don't want obstacle in animation okay so while doing the animation will just concentrate on animation so please go through it and if you have any doubt please clear it out before uh, the animation video so that i can clear it out so thanks for watching this video i hope you like it and if you like it, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and share this video with your family and friends. Stay tuned for my animation video. Thank you and take care. Bye-bye.